Hi folks, this is Reverend Isaac. I'm just heading into work. I don't have the car this morning, that's okay. I like to walk a lot. Uh, uh, my wife and uh, sons are gonna be heading over to the grocery store to pick up a few things. I don't know if you've had the chance to be the grocery store the last little bit. It's been a little bit wild going in there. I've had a couple chances to be in over the last few days and of course looking at the uh, the shelves and we know that uh, lots of toilet paper no longer there. Um, different uh, food items that uh, people have been buying uh, rampantly. But even in the midst of it all, it's important for us to remember the people who are helping to keep those shelves stocked and, and serving us in different ways. I saw a post by one of my Facebook friends just talking about how hard it's been for people working in grocery stores over the last little while. And so I was thinking, because uh, the grocery store is a place where um, there is some stress over the last little while, both for people working there and for those of us who are going to shop, and also because the grocery store is also one of the last places right now, at least in Ontario, where we're actually seeing other human beings in person and gathering, maybe we should say a prayer for the situation at the grocery store. And so um, what I'm going to suggest to you is you uh, read these words that I'll have up on the screen in just a moment, and let's pray these words together. God, when there's a cleanup on aisle 10, bless the hands that clean it. We thank you for those who stock shelves, work the cash, and deliver us from hunger. God, when the toilet paper runs out, calm our anxious and fretting minds. Show us your abundant love when we fear scarcity. Give us this day our daily bread. God, when the person in line at customer service loses it, come as a presence of peace and of patience. Help us to know boundaries and how to say no to mean behavior. Forgive us as we forgive others. God, when we see folks still giving to the donation box at the checkout, Lead us from the temptation of saying, how can I give in a time like this? Move us to generosity for charities, food banks, and for our ministries. God, when a stranger still smiles at us across the frozen meal bin or in the parking lot or from behind the butcher's block, help us to recognize that it is Christ. Help us to be that stranger. May your kingdom come on aisle 10 as it is in heaven. Amen. Well, folks, I hope that you have a wonderful day, even in the midst of some of the social isolation situations that we're living through. Know that we are still connected in spirit, that God is with us, and we are not alone. So God bless. Have a great day.